Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Tom from Acres of Adventure. Maybe you're looking into getting chicks, maybe you just got chicks, maybe you're about to get them, and you need to set up a brooder so that when you bring your chickens home, you have everything ready to go and you don't have to worry and try to rush it all together. Well, today, we're gonna build one together, so let's get a brooder system ready for your chickens. So we currently have 14 eggs in our incubator right now and they are getting ready to hatch in less than a week. So this is something that we need to get done. We need to make sure that we have the brooder ready because we're not going to the store to just buy chicks. Our chicks are gonna hatch, they're gonna be here. So we need to make sure that the brooder is definitely ready before they hatch. This is our fourth time having baby chicks now and I feel like each time we've done something just a little bit different, we tweaked a little bit here and there. So now I just feel like we're at that point that we kind of have our system down and we know exactly how we want to set up this brooder. So let's walk through it right now and let's go through everything you're going to want to make sure that you have so that your chicks will be ready to go. All right, so the very first thing that you're going to need is the brooder. So like their housing, what's the main thing that you're deciding you're going to use? We've been liking using these big galvanized tubs. They're really easy to wipe and clean out. You don't have to build it, you can just buy one and then you have it all ready to go. There is a lot of different kind of ones that you can learn how to make. The very first time we had chicks, we had a big one that was made out of wood and it was nice, but I feel like all like the poop and bedding really gets stuck on the wood and it's hard to wipe. So using these galvanized tubs for us have been really good. Kind of work with it. There is different ways and different things you can use. It's not a one size fits all. This is what we use. Some people will use plastic totes for their chickens. So just look into how you want to do it. There's not one right answer for this, so just whatever is going to work easiest for you. The next thing that you're going to look into, I'm trying to kind of do this in a little bit of an order for setting it up, so for anyone who wants to follow along and do it at the same time. Now what you need is some kind of bedding for your chicks to be in. I have some wood shavings here. I don't think it matters whether you get small, medium, large, mediums in the middle, so I think it's kind of a good balance of the two. So we have medium wood shavings. We love using wood shavings. You gotta stay away from cedar. I've heard that cedar, the scent of it or respiratory problems for your chicks. I decided it's not worth testing it. I'd rather not see anything happen to them. So we just use just normal pine kind of wood shavings here. But if you also see, you can see I have paper towel here. And you're probably wondering what paper towel has to do with this. And this is the first bedding that we use for the first three days for chicks. I believe we saw this from Chickenlandia, which if you guys don't follow along already on YouTube for any kind of chicken tips, she has a whole bunch out there. I remember her bringing this up for baby chicks when you first have them. You lay this down in the brooder so that your chickens can have a nice even surface and what this does is it helps not have them have any kind of leg deformities or walking deformities or anything like that. It allows them a nice smooth flat surface where the pine shavings can kind of build up and they can kind of hobble around. and. The very first days are very important, so we do this for about the first two to three days for when they're first born, and then after that, and they kind of gotten their walking down and everything, then we'll kind of substitute and put the shavings in. So the first thing that we do is we put down paper towel. Hi, Theo. Yeah, that. So the next thing that you're going to want to add into your brooder box is they're going to need a heat source. And you got to imagine, usually a hen will be sitting on these baby chicks for most of the day for quite a few days when they first get born, so they need something that's gonna keep them nice and toasty. For every single time we've ever had chicks, we have used a heat plate, and this has worked amazing for them. There is other sources. A lot of people like to use heat lamps, and the only reason that we haven't is we've heard stories about them. If you don't secure them well enough, they're gonna fall down, could cause a fire, could land on your chicks if you don't put them on the certain ways. And this, honestly, is just a lot easier and I really don't think it's that expensive. It doesn't take any light bulbs, so you don't need to ever change the light bulbs. You just plug it into the wall. Ours has two settings, one that says brooder and one that says heater. So you just have it on the brooder setting because that's where this is gonna be. And it works perfect. They get to go underneath it, so it's almost acting like a hen sitting on them and having that heat that close to them so they can kind of relax. And they can choose to walk out and get their food and water and then come back when they need. The one downfall I will say is that they like to jump on top and they're gonna poop all over it. So unfortunately, every once in a while, you're gonna have to take it out and clean it. After they get big enough, you can see like we have it like this. You can also sit it straight up like this. So then they don't really poop on it as much. They will perch up on top of it, but that's not a big deal. This is a great thing to have for your brooder. So now your brooder, 
has its shelter, you have a bedding for them to be on, and they have their heat source. All very important things, but obviously the last two things that are gonna be very important for them are food and water. So you're gonna need some kind of feeder and some kind of water container for them inside this brooder. This will be something you might battle the whole time that you have chicks. There's so many different ones out there, so many to choose from. We have used probably three, four, five different methods for each one at one point, even during one time, maybe even having chicks. So this is something that we've battled and battled. I'll kind of explain that right now. So we'll start with the feeder. So this is the feeder system that we're gonna go with this time. It kind of has a good amount inside, which is nice. I want it to be able to hold a good amount of food so that you don't have to worry about filling it as often. It makes it easier on yourself. But also, I like the legs. But when the chicks are first born, they're gonna be pretty small, so these come off. Just like that, they come off, and now you can put them back on. And that is helpful because, like I said, when they're small, this will be nice, but once they get bigger, they're really gonna start scratching around those pine shavings and you will notice they will cover this completely sometimes and it's gonna be really hard for them to get their food. So these legs will allow it to stand up a little bit taller. Some pine shavings still might get on top, but this will be helpful for keeping shavings outside of your food container and allowing them to be able to have access to their food. Something to think about. I know other people have some other tips and there might be some things I try later on, but I'm just gonna try this method and see how this works. The top comes off really easy, so really easy to add food into it. Like I said, it's a pretty good size actually. Has tons of spots for all the chicks to eat, which is also helpful because you'll notice when you go to put new food in, they'll all rush to it, so this allows them to all have a spot to eat. It's also nice for the people that want to really get the shavings out. It has this top right here which has the hole on it so you can weave something through and you can hang it which will allow them to really not kick shavings in there if you need for when they get older. Now time for your water and this is one you really don't want them kicking pine shavings in. But once again since they'll be so small as babies you don't have to worry about it right away and early on but as soon as they get to be about a few weeks old, they're really gonna start kicking those shavings around and they're really gonna start covering. And for your water especially, it'll soak up and they're gonna dry out your water really quick where they don't have access to water. This is one of the most basic waters that you can buy. You're gonna be able to find this at any farm store. So go ahead and buy one. You, they have containers that go with them, but all mason jars actually will screw into these. So. I like using the mason jar because it's really easy to see where the water level is. It's really clear. This is the one that we have always usually use. What we'll do is usually prop it up on some kind of big piece of wood so that when they get taller, they're not kicking the shavings in there. You'll see though, they are still gonna be able to get some in there. It's just not as bad if you prop it up. So this is as simple as what we use for water. Nothing too bad, so we'll get food and the water in here. Last two things that you want for your brooder. As you can notice, this brooder has no top to it. So if you're building your brooder, make sure that you have a top on it. When they get older, they're gonna start jumping around, flapping their wings, and they will escape on you plenty and plenty of times. I remember the first time that we had chicks, every time we'd open the top of that, they just wanted to jump up and see us at the top of it, so it will happen. So for these galvanized tubs, obviously they don't come with tops. So what I did is I built a really quick, easy top for it. All I did was got four pieces of one by one, I believe it is, made a rectangle that's gonna fit over it, put some chicken wire over the top, stapled it on so it's really light because we don't want to be able to lift this and it's so heavy for us. And now it's ready to go on top and those chickens will not be escaping on you. We love this top because the one that I made before this it was super heavy because I used two by fours. So this is nicer, just using the one by ones. It gets the job done, it's gonna cover it. It's easy for us to lift up and down. And it does its job of preventing them from coming out. And we love the openness of it so we can look inside and actually see them. And now you have a brooder system that is basically ready. You're only missing one more thing, and that is your chickens. And that is the best thing about the whole system. You're gonna be super excited to see those chicks if you have not experienced this already. The one big advice that I'd give for you is just have fun and enjoy it. I don't think we'll ever be able to really enjoy it like the first time we did because we were just learning everything and seeing them jump around. So I wish I could get that feeling again, 
but it always is an exciting feeling to see these chickens in here. And in a week from now, we are gonna see them chirping, hearing them, and it is gonna be a very nice experience. The last big tip of advice I'd be for your brooder, if you don't have one that you have a shed that has electricity to, or putting them outside brooder system or anything like that, like if you're like us, make sure you put them in a certain part of your house that you won't mind there being a bad smell because they are gonna poop, it does happen, no matter how many times, unless you're cleaning it every single day, you're gonna get that smell, it's just gonna happen. So for us, we won't have it out here because this is our living room. We'll have them in one of our two bathrooms because bathrooms can smell like poop. So I hope this helps someone out there. I hope that you guys are excited if this is your first time having chickens and if it's not, and if you're just curious about how we do our setup and I hope that you learn something new from this possibly. We here are very excited to have chicks in this in one week. You guys have a great day and a better tomorrow, and we'll see you guys in the next one.